so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial um, on something which was requested by someone. Um, this one is to create an announcer, basically. Um, not only an announcer, but it's going to be announcing a message once every hour, or whatever time you want. Um, and it's going to be on kind of a loop, but we also want a start command and a stop command, which displays a message for that. Now, I also did change this slightly. I wanted mine to be read from a text document, which is why I'm going to show you how to do it as well. So what we can do is we can create our on text command, um, first of all. This is a script which I wrote completely by myself last night. Basically decided to help this guy out. Um, and I jumped into his stream, asked him what he wanted, and we got it done. Basically, I don't know how he's got on with it, but it seems to work okay for me, so I'll just share that with you now. Remember, it is in the description if you don't want to follow the video. All I ask, if you do take it from the description, is you like the video, you comment on the video if it worked. I want to know if it worked for you guys. Uh, but the liking and the co commenting, yeah, it's really important. Uh, subscribe as well if you want to see more of my RC videos. Right, so we've got our on text exclamation mark start links, which is going to be our command to start the link announcer. Um, which I want to do. Uh, so we do colon hashtag colon and then open our statement which is going to be actually an if statement because we want this to be to be able to display our we want it to be only for op steves so we're going to do if nick is op, I covered this in another video um, hashtag close bracket open squiggly bracket so this is an if statement it checks if that nickname is an op in the channel so the nickname is basically another name for the user, it's just like an abbreviation for it basically. Next line we need to write what it does if we want this command to work. Uh, first of all I want it to display a message in the channel. Um, and I want this message in the channel to be um, link, cy link cycle is now starting. There we go, that should be fine. And then on the next line, I also want it to do something else. I want it to be dot timer links, which is going to start our timer. Uh, zero, and then I want it to be how long? Uh, we always put the zero there, but we want it to be a timer of some sort. So what kind of time, what kind of length could we have? We'll cut off for 20 seconds. We'll put it on 20 seconds for the purpose of this video. Um, then I want it to play. Now, the play command is used basically if you want it to read from a text document. So what I've done is if we go onto my desktop, my very messy desktop, uh, we can create a new text document. Uh, we can double click this. We can write in here links. I might want a YouTube link. Uh, Twitter link. Facebook maybe? Maybe a LOL King link? I don't know. Anything that you want displayed, put it in that text document. Then we need to save that. Uh, we'll just save it as a new text document on my desktop. We're going to right click this file, we're going to go on properties, and we want to go on the location. We want to copy our location, and we're going to put our location just after this. Uh, but just before that we want a hashtag because it's going to play it in the channel. Um, we'll do a backslash again after that desktop and we want to type the name of our file which was new text document right? I'm going to rename this actually, we're going to call it um, test, uh, wait we're going to call it links. Call it just links. Um, so we've got our script open here. Um, we can go on here and type links.txt because it's a text file. Now that should play the file every 20 seconds. Perfectly okay. Next line, we'll close that up. Close our statement up. Uh, now we can do an else statement if we want. Um, there's no real need for an else statement. If they're not op, then we don't want it to do anything. Otherwise, people could spam it. I don't think there is any need for a flood mechanism in this, really, um, to stop you from spamming. Um, I think it's just making more fuss. So it's just not going to do anything if they try to do it. Um, and that is all there is to that really. It's very straightforward. It's going to read that link. Uh, there will be another video up 
later on today. This one should be up at 5, there's one up at 7, which is on how to do the stop links command, because obviously you want to know how to stop it, so you're going to have to wait for that one, guys. Uh, the, the paste bin for this video will be in the description, the full paste bin will be in the next video. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. We will also be doing a tutorial on how to display a song that you are listening to using a command. So basically, you do exclamation mark song and it will tell them the song. We'll do that in another tutorial which will be in the next few days. Uh, thanks for watching, subscribe, like and comment.